Hello everyone, so I've been told by a trusted source, trusted, uh, that this is a really long mountain. Like, we've already been going with this mountain for a solid probably hour, actually. Like, it took up a large majority of the, the um, hour of power, and then, like, another two, like, 30 minutes of episode. Um, but I've been told it's even longer. Um, and seeing as this trusted source may be either President Obama or Stephen Hawking, um... I'm going to say it's probably pretty reputable, so we may spend a little bit um, actually getting through here. So, thank God we've got some max repels to, you know, kind of alleviate the, the horrors. Um, I may not switch out to omelet all the time because that's going to end up taking a lot more time. So, um, yeah. And uh, if this trusted source is incorrect, then uh, I'll be throwing them under the bus. And I will reveal their true identity. Stephen Hawking, watch out. Ugh, I can't even stand to look at an ugly thing. Wow. I was ugly enough you uh, actually bothered to change the text. That's kind of depressing, actually. Um, I've never looked in a mirror before. I can only really see the back of my head. I mean, that, that right eye right there looks kind of cool. I guess you are, you know, probably pretty vain. I also have a Pokemon called Gardevoir, so... Yeah. Not too worried. A little more worried now because you're using psychic moves. Which... Yep, okay. Well, that was a good, good start, guys. Um, I probably shouldn't have made fun of her. That may have been a, a mistake. Um, she looks like a leaf Pokemon, probably because of the green, as the only way I judge people is by uh, their color scheme. So, green and red, so leaf and fire, clearly. So, I always want to fight a leaf and fire Pokemon or the fire Pokemon. Oh, I actually burned her. That's impressive. It's synchro- Don't know what that was. Um, don't really care about that, because you're burned and are going to die. But I'm glad you've, you know, you've accepted it. You're, you're at peace with yourself, you realize that you're on fire. Um, you've decided not to stop, drop, and roll, which is a little, a little questionable, but, I mean, you know, it, that's okay. At least you've accepted that you don't want to stop, drop, and roll. You probably never learned it. And you're not dead. Is it special defense? No, it's attack is rising. Oh, okay, there it is. Yeah, it's defense is rising. I wasn't really paying attention. Um... And you should die from the burn. Also, what this trusted uh, source, President Obama, um, perhaps, told me was that, uh, gave me a little tip, and I looked it up. Uh, apparently, the Rage of a Thousand Dragons that we've been using on every single Pokemon, um, known to man, uh, it says mystery, but really it does 40 damage every time. See here? Four, that's 40 damage. Um, and so as the enemy Pokemon were getting stronger and stronger, I was still using the Rage of Thousand Dragons, but, uh, I was really confused as to why it wasn't doing as much, and I guess it's because it just does the same amount every time. So, yeah, we may not be using the Rage of a Thousand Dragons anymore. We'll st don't worry, guys, we'll still be as angry as the cumulative effects of 1,000 Dragons, but, um, we'll also be dizzy. But instead of using that move, we'll probably replace it with a better move at some point. And just stop using it, because... Literally anything else will will be better. Hooray! It's about to send in a, another Gardevoir. Gardevoir! All I know about Gardevoir, as I think I've said before, is uh, that it is a weird reflecty thing from Brawl that ends up... I think if you throw items at, like, it, it, it just has, like, a magical sparkly circle around it, and then if you throw items at that sparkly circle, they, like, deflect. I don't know. It's a weird Pokemon that you kind of kind of sucks to get, really, in general. Like, everyone's pretty bummed out when they, like, throw the Pokeball. They're like, am I gonna get an Entei? And then they get, like, a Gardevoir, and they're like, oh, yay! Gardevoir, thank God. I was worried I would actually be able to defeat my opponents with this Pokeball. So, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, God. That Psychic's not doing wonders for me. Or any of my Pokemon, really. But, unfortunately, she's been cut down. So we're good. Every, everyone's happy. We get some experience. That would probably have leveled the egg up like six times, but, you know. An ugly trainer like you, then. I don't... Did she start that sentence or something? That didn't really make sense. Maybe next time, I'll break a nail. Be more careful ne- Well, she's... Not putting a whole lot of variety into her sentences. Um, probably due to the intelligence. Okay, explosion. 
Oh, maybe, is that the shortcut from earlier? No, it's not a shortcut. I don't know what I'm talking about. I guess that's just a way to get that Pokeball. Which, I still don't know how the hell to climb down that shit. Maybe I get climbing gear at some point. It could also be a Pokemon move, so... One day, we will figure it out. I feel like I could use Fly or Waterfall. Both of those would probably have enough power to actually get me where I wanted to go, but... Whatever, Pokemon logic. You can't get up a 10-foot cliff without some kind of magical thing. I breed Pokemon. It's a very, very depressing job. A pet will help me feel better. Yeah, probably doesn't help that you breed Pokemon at the top of, like, a lonely mountain. And also wear that clothing. And are picking berries. I don't know why the job would be depressing, but... I guess it sucks. Probably because you just sit there waiting for them to level up. Slash breed. Like, I go out and have adventures while Pokemon breeders do stuff, but uh, they have to sit there and actually watch the Pokemon do that, so... Unless you're really creeping into that, it's probably not that exciting at all. He used roleplay, and he copied my... It, oh, oh no! Dear God, whatever will I do? Except maybe use the next move, and then kill you. Perhaps? Yeah, oh, you are dead. Very exciting. Hooray! Pokemon Greta Evangeline is about to send in a Stoutland. Uh, no. I will fight an entire country on my own. That dog has large enough whiskers to pretty much be an entire country. Well, we will use the good old kamikaze attack. Take out those whiskers of mass destruction. I don't know what the hell those are. Those are crazy. I didn't die. Wow. Impressive. That means Flightless probably needs to level up a little bit more. That just looks like, like a prize chihuahua of some sort. It's been raised by overdoting parents. Very pretty, though. I mean, kind of impractical. Probably would trip over its own whiskers and, I don't know, get really dirty. Like, you'd have to clean it every 10 seconds. But, I mean, but you know, it might be worth it. it I'm sure it wins at least second prize at the, at the little <laughs> chihuahua show, which brings great pride to your family and all members of the chihuahua breed. Not really, at all. It just sounds kind of stupid. No offense to any Chihuahua-owning uh, people out there. Hopefully there are none that watch these videos. Unless you have a Chihuahua... I mean, I'm not against small dogs. I'm not against Chihuahuas. Um, yeah, they just need to be, like, not really yippy and obnoxious. Because if, they, if they're, like, barking all the time, then I don't want them anywhere near me. Um, but if they're normal and just cute, then that's totally fine. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna excessively kill this thing with fly. Wood? Really? That's a move? Well, unfortunately, the wood hammer didn't hit. Um, yeah, I probably should have stuck to carpentry. I was pelted by- actually, that should probably do more damage, seeing as I'm, like, all the way up in the sky. And... can I kill it? Hey, there we go, fly! That animation looks like it's Sonic attacking, but I guess it's flightless. Hooray! Ba ba da ba ba. I recovered, all right. Fantastic. Uh, let's actually head back. Oh shit! Do I have another one? Yes, please. Thank God I have so much money and I bought all these, because otherwise I would just. This would take probably two times as long. Okay, let's. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be terrible grinding, but really, um, no one wants to watch me walk through this area, like, and every two steps you can stop by Pokemon, like, great, another level 32, I get to kill in one hit, and then I'd have to edit, you know, it would probably take 45 minutes to edit this video, because I'd have to edit out every victory music thing, and that'd be stupid as hell, because I edit those down because they're super loud, and, um, it annoys me, and when I watch my videos, and I'm like, oh, what the hell's going on, so I, I end up editing them down, um, but yeah, it would suck if I had to fight all these wild Pokemon randomly, because then I would get that music every 10 seconds. And probably go insane. This mountain gives off a mystical energy. I'm going to absorb it and defeat you. You have a plan to do that? Are you some sort of shaman? You are a psychic. Okay, you are a psychic. Uh, your sprite made you look like a tiny little girl, which kind of made me a little bit questionable. But you do have things like Grumpig, and he's got like a bunch of weird obsidian stones um, that you seem to have super glued onto his chest and forehead, so that's that's good, that's good. Um, that's probably a, a step towards achieving your goal of, of taking me out. Not sure how. Um, I'm a little intimidated by the, the creepiness of what you just did. You also use Power Gem. Um, those, that could be 
you know, a result of the powerful gems that are on your head and, and head and stomach as well. So, so yeah. However, you are dead. Don't be grumpy about it. <laughs> God damn it. Why do I even... Why? I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know. You guys are all, like, looking at me and questioning me, and I'm questioning myself. I don't even know why I do that. There's really no need to throw in, like, the worst pun ever um, once a video. But I do it just because, I don't know. Apparently I've run out of things to say, so I just throw in the worst pun ever. That's good. Uh-oh. This thing's not uh, susceptible to fake fists. Oh, shit. Don't die. Please. Oh, God. Well, that's not good at all. I must kill you, you two-tailed freak. We will throw in oblivious. He does not realize that he's probably super ineffective against psychic, so he will just throw flames at you and you will hopefully die. You and your two tails of evil will burn in hell. Also, you all have um, weird gems super glued to your body, so... That is also the devil, and you must die. But to send in a sigglyph, uh, no. I do not want to change. What the f That looks like a totem pole. Uh, sure, we're not gonna... See, I was about to use Dragon Rage, then I remembered that it was not good at all. So, we'll use a real move. 